don't get that looped under your foot, you'll get dragged. We've been plowing this field right here. Show them, Sam. And uh, now, lunch break. Not just for humans, but for the horses. And one of the things I was talking about earlier in the barn, you know, what's changed in the world, a lot of things. Happiness has gone down for many people. I saw a survey talking about happiness. 80% of people hate their job. I think one of the things that's happened is people, it's easy to lose your sense of purpose. There's a good book you should read called The Paradox of Choice by Barry Schwartz. And he talks about, they're ready to go, boy, they're pulling me right up. Uh, it talks about how when you have too many choices, you can't make any of them. So what happens is you just are less happy. You're just like continually overanalyzing everything. I see that with people trying to become entrepreneurs. They hate their job, but they don't want to quit because they're like, what do I quit? Do I do this business, this business, this business? And so a hundred years ago, when everybody lived, show them the farm all the way around here. Whoa. When everybody lived on a farm, you pretty much did what your parents did. And we look back at that and we think that's bad. And, and in some ways, I'm sure that made people unhappy, but it's kind of like one step forward, two steps backwards. We got a lot of choice now in the modern world. We live in big cities where you're continually, you're continually free fertilizer. <laughs> it's a good thing about horses versus tractors. Tractors pollute, horses fertilize. By the way, I cut my pants got caught on one of the horse pieces of equipment so be careful out here but what I was gonna say is that so when people got more choice you go to a city any night of the day there's 50 things to do there's 50 jobs to choose there's 50 people to date there's 50 people to make friends with people basically go crazy that's that's the long and short of it you should read that book like I said paradox of choice by Barry Schwartz lots of free fertilizer I'm probably gonna put blueberries, blackberries on this hill. This is a south facing hill. Maybe apple trees, some some late blooming ones. You got to put the late blooming ones on the south face. So one of the things that I do now to get over this paradox of choice is I come and I got this ranch and I just get away from the city. I get into a routine, simple things. People ask what life's purpose is and it depends who you ask. A lot of people will say legacy is one common answer, but legacy fades. Um, all flesh is grass, the saying is. The flowers fade. Do you remember who your great, 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 great grandfather is? No. And even if you look at the, your DNA, it gets split in half. So your great, 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 great grandchildren are hardly related to you. You might be more related to your neighbor than you are to your great, 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 great grandchild. So legacy is an okay answer. It's obvious. It's an obvious answer that makes sense, family, things like that. Um, other people say, you know, maximizing what you have. That's a decent answer. Other people say leaving the earth better than you found it, all these things. But I think that the answer sometimes is simpler than that. Like I said, the Native Americans lived here before all the settlers came they used to just say you know what is man without the beast what is what are humans without animals and um i think being connected to the land animals nature the natural cycles winter spring summer fall this makes this is your purpose you know and that's hard to say because 90 percent of people live in big cities but the world could change the demographics should change if people are asking me what would make them happier i'm not saying this is an easy answer for society i'm just saying this is one answer that I've tested it on a lot of people from the city. If you have high anxiety, which is 30 to 40 percent of planet Earth, you're overstimulated. You know, you, you got to get to where, like, when I'm here on the ranch, I'm not overstimulated. It's simple: milk the cow in the morning, feed the feed the horses, put hay, put straw down, plow, plant. You know, uh, you get strong. You don't have to work on a farm. Your hands get dirty. And you don't really think like what the purpose of life is. That book by Eckhart Tolle called The Power of Now, it's interesting. I never loved that book because people use the power of now to mean 
they're really, it's, people have taken it to mean like meditation and stuff like that, which is fine. I'm not anti-meditation, but it, you can't meditate unless you're the Dalai Lama 10 hours a day. So it's not really a solution. I think what the power of now means is just not thinking about the future, not thinking about the past. Kind of like these horses. These horses are not thinking very far ahead. And horses are pretty happy. At least these ones are. Doc, Duke, you happy? Jerry, Jake. They're learning their names. Actually, no. Um, but they're just in the moment. So I think it's less about meditation. It's more about doing activities. It can be a garden if you live in a city. It can be taking care of animals. Dogs are good, but you should have more than one species. I see people just get so into their dog. What they end up actually doing is it's called anthropomorphizing. They turn their dog into a human. You see people, they put like a LA Lakers jersey on their dog. They put socks and shoes. The dog hates it, but it's almost, I guess people don't have kids anymore, so now they have dogs, but that's, a dog doesn't want to be a human. And dogs are happiest when they're out roaming, eating meat, scavenging, all that stuff. And so I think you need to have different animals and you have different living things around you. And the more you have, the happier you are, unless they're mosquitoes or blood sucking flies. I had to smack one on him, I was sucking his blood while I was working. Most animals, not all things are lovely. But uh, yeah, that's a simple answer to what the purpose of life is in many ways. People want more complex answers because they're overthinking everything. We'll walk and talk. Come on, boy. Doc, nope. Horses can pretty much sleep standing up, so they want to go back to that barn. We're going to a different barn. Yeah, come on. They, horses are hard-headed, like people. So try to find something that you enjoy that's simple. Try to find something that's a routine that you have to do every day. Getting in a rhythm is good. A lot of people ask me what the best daily routine. Kind of like, like our ranch life. You have some chores you do in the morning. Those are kind of repetitive things, but you don't have too much repetitive. Then you get burned out. And then you have some new progress. And you want to be doing things that you're not always thinking about other stuff. If you're always thinking about other stuff, the future, the past, it's not relaxing enough. You need to have a relatively relaxing life. I've been testing my blood once every month or two for almost five years. No, sorry, three years. And uh, it's crazy cortisol levels of humans. People have them in the 20s and the 30s. You want them, you know, 10. I've got, sometimes when I come to ranch, they, when I test my blood, they drop to like nine or eight. Now you don't want it too low, but cortisol is your, basically a fight or flight stress hormone. And there's a good book, Happiness Hypothesis by Jonathan Haidt. And he talks about doing studies on people. He's a scientist. I think he's at NYU. And he says, if you test people's blood who live in a big city near like loud honking noises, cars, all that, blood cortisol levels go up. Even if you're meditating, even if you think you're Zen life, it's not as Zen as you think. Come on, come on boys. These are four males. I have female horses, but they're at my other place. So open that gate right here. There's a green one. Let's see if they'll fit in there. Boom. Ha. Ha. Come on. Ha. That's gonna be a tight squeeze. There we got to get rid of this. Show them what the cattle guard is. This was here before I was here. I gotta get rid of it. Very annoying. Okay, I don't know if they can get in there. Come on, guys. Let us try. If we go, this will be something to try. We gotta go get two through. Oh, oh, don't touch yourself. Step. Come on. G, G, G. There you go. Look at that. All right, can you close that? Step. These gates were not put in quite with these size horses in mind. 
<laughs> they were put with little riding horses in mind. These are big boys. They're about, those two over there, about 2,100 pounds probably. These eat about 50,000 calories a day each. So they don't go on the Weight Watchers diet. I don't think you can get a, can you get a Weight Watchers diet, Sam? 50,000 mm -hmm. calories? No. <laughs> oh, see if we can make it through this little ring. Oh. So find a simple purpose in life, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Don't overcomplicate it. Whoa. Friends, family, be healthy. Keep things simple. Don't get too many weird variables in your life going. If you get a hose, we're gonna run a hose out to that field. Um, you know that K-I-S-S, -S, keep it simple, stupid? I have to tell myself that a lot. The simpler your life is, actually, believe it or not, the more money you make, too. When I get a business idea and it's too complicated, it never works out. When I just have simple business ideas, like I'm launching a new food brand where we ship you a box of meat, uh, you know, pasture, uh, rotationally grazed, grass-fed beef, and chicken and all that stuff. It's just a simple idea. And those ideas are much more, I mean, any business idea can fail, but it's a lot less likely to fail. Is it open all the way? So, make you more money, make you happier, make more time for better people. Like Sigma Freud said, can't love everybody the same because if you love everybody the same then you take away time from good people you got to have simple life so you have time to remember the good people the people that are your closest friends they should spend more time with attention to